All right, thanks, Jess. Another day and another record for gas prices in the U.S. AAA is reporting a nationwide average of $4.91 a gallon. Here's a look at today's price map. The red you see, that indicates those higher prices. The white, about mid-level. Blue, lower prices. As you can see, they're really clustered together with their neighboring states. Now, California is seen the highest right now at $6.30 a gallon. Now, Missouri is on the lower side of things, ranking 45th in the nation. Now, the state still managed to set a new high price of our own today at $4.49. The same color scale applies. So, in Missouri, drivers in mid-Missouri and St. Louis were paying the most at the pump right now, where people near Kansas City, they're paying a little bit less. Now, our digital team has uploaded an interactive gas map to help you find the cheapest gas prices near you. I know we're all looking for that we have it on our website. You can find it every single day at abc17news.com. Now, the recent increase is forcing a lot of people to reconsider how they get around. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is live at the Wabash bus station in Columbia for us. And Marina, Go Como has seen a lot more people use their bus routes recently. Deb, Go Como offers six bus routes. They'll all meet here in downtown Columbia. The rides are free and more people are taking advantage of it as the price of gas continues to increase. Go Como even has an app that allows you to, uh, that makes it easier to become more comfortable with the bus routes. The app is called Go Como. And as you can see here, you can track the bus from each stop. So during the hot summer months, you won't have to wait outside as long waiting for your bus. Riderships is a lot higher because of the gas prices being so high. Regina Morgan is the bus and safety supervisor, and she says that she has seen an increase in more people riding the bus. She said the biggest increase is during the morning and evening routes when people are heading to and from work. I'm seeing our heaviest ridership during the, in the morning time when people are headed to work and in the evening when they're heading back home. John Ogan works for the City of Columbia Public Works. He himself rides the bus to and from work every day and says having a free bus route is important during these financially hard times. So having the bus there to, to take you there for free, that's, that's really crucial to getting a lot of people uh, uh, making their ends meet. Ann Anderson takes the bus frequently, and she thinks it's a great way for people to save money. Especially at the cost of free 99, because free is always in the budget. Ogan told me that the free rides are funded through federal grants and they plan to continue to offer the free rides as long as city council provides them the funding. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Okay, Marina, thank you. Free 99. There you go. City council is scheduled to create next year's Go Como budget in October.